Hi. So what's your name? Dennis Murphy. And you're with the Minutemen? Yes. Okay. Uh, how did you meet and get met involved with this organization? Well, actually, this is uh, Tim Narducci's group, and Tim has come down to several of our meetings, and he's gotten involved with us, though at an informal level. So we're working together on an informal basis, the Minutemen and Tim's organization. Uh, how, about how many Minutemen are there in the state of Nebraska? I mean, we're pretty much right in the middle of the nation here. Right. Right now, we have somewhere between two and 300. Okay. Now, are some of those members going to overlap between Tim's group and your group? Or? Oh, yes. So they're kind of commingled there a little bit, huh? Some of them indeed overlap, others do not. Uh, ha have you sent men down to, the, down to the border yet? Well, I personally was there in 2005. That's when I lived in uh, Nevada. I spent uh, three and a half days there. And we haven't focused on sending people to the border from this state yet. We, we do have an event coming up in October. But most of the people here are involved with working with the projects that we have here locally. Okay. And what kind of projects are those? We have several committees. We have, in fact, five committees that we have operating with the Nebraska Minutemen currently. Uh, they range from an employer accountability to a candidate committee, legislative, a media committee, and uh, there's one other that slips my mind at the moment. So you're trying to attack it from all angles? From all angles, absolutely. We're going to be uh, focusing in on uh, employers who are the biggest uh, violators of hiring illegals. We're going to be uh, posting on our website all of the candidates throughout Nebraska with their particular positions with respect to illegal immigration and this entire issue so that the voting public has a full awareness of where their politicians stand, both the incumbents and the challengers. Legislatively, we will be submitting legislation at both the municipal, county, and the state levels through our state unicameral that will help to enforce immigration laws at the state level. And what's, do you have a website address for the Minuteman organization? It is www.nebraskaminuteman.com. So Minuteman, M-A-N. Okay. And you can also arrive at our site through the national headquarters which is www.minutemanhq.com. When you get in there, you simply click on Nebraska or whatever state you're interested in, and it takes you to that particular state. All of this has probably got to take a little bit of money. Do you have fundraisers? Or do you have people that are backing you because they're concerned citizens like you? Or how, how, how does it work financially? At the national level, they've been doing some considerable fundraising, obviously, as far as building the fence along the Arizona border. Uh, at the local levels, literally, it's just all donations and money out of our own pockets. When I started the organization here in Nebraska with the blessings of the national organization, literally everything, all the efforts came out of my own pocket. Now we have other members that are participating and donating funds. So we are starting to get help from the general community. You, it sounds like you're moving forward. Oh, we're absolutely let, moving forward. Let me ask you this. The, um, uh, the crisis, if you will, do you envision a day when your organization might not be needed? I pray that that's the case. I pray that indeed this issue will be resolved in a manner that we and the Minutemen want to see it resolved. And I believe that in a manner that the majority of citizens in this country want to see the issue resolved. And that we can all go back to our children again, grandchildren and families, and devote time instead of being out here on Saturday morning trying to get the federal government to do its job that it has abdicated. We'd rather be spending that time with our families. Absolutely. Well, I want to thank you for your time, sir. Thank uh, you. I appreciate it. I do have just one more question for you. Yes. The, the, the main consideration or the main theme of this demonstration seems to be secure the borders. Yes. How exactly would you go about doing that? Securing the borders is, is a matter of a multiple approach strategy and it's been discussed numerous times. Not only is it manpower in the form of additional border agents and also National Guard from the respective states, but also electronically 
and also building a wall. So there's going to be a multitude of approaches. The wall will make sense in some areas, electronic surveillance will make sense in some other areas, but you always need boots on the ground, whether that be in the form of additional National Guard, or whether that be in the form of the President putting our armed forces on the border. Some combination of that is what's going to be necessary to secure our borders. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to talk to you. Thanks. Good day.